Welcome, Ms. Sanji. Please sit down here with us. Well, just so I can say congratulations. That was so beautiful. This is amazing. This is unbelievable. I couldn't do the great number that you have done now. Please, again, algunos aplausos, por favor, nuevamente para nuestras invitadas esta noche que lo han hecho de una manera excepcional. Well, Miss Angie, we have some questions for all of you. It was so beautiful. We would like to ask you something. I would like to ask you how was your experience at Focus Your Mind? My experience. <laughs> okay. She's, she's <laughs> You breathe, know. breathe, está cansada. Uh, you know, I was used to learning English with a typical coach who give uh, theoretical classes. However, in Focus Your Mind uh, was different. I could discuss about topic that interests me. I could um, learn faster uh, apart it's, it's something interesting that I can <laughs> I continue, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, yes, was that in, was something that in focus your mind I could develop faster. Well, yes, I I think you you have a good, a great opportunity to learn English as you said. Um, well, uh, I would like to know how has English changed your life now that you had the opportunity to learn this beautiful language? What I enjoy most in my life was listening music in English and speeches, motivational speeches. But today when I understood my favorite music and I be able to listen motivational speeches in English, I felt like I will open a door, which I will uh, let me to uh, take me to the other half of the world. Well, beautiful words. You you write the English can open many doors to you, and it's so beautiful that you had this opportunity to learn. Um, now that you that you know this language, do you have any plan for the future? What uh, what plans do you have uh, for the future with English? My dear Norman, all is, everything starts with a dream. My dreams motivate me to go out, to meet the world, to give uh, great speeches around the world. I wish my name would be heard in the south, in the north, in the east and west, and of course expand my business too. Uh, but for achieve that ambitious dreams, I had to um, I had to. Oh my dear. I had to learn that language, which will lead me to achieve that such feats. Uh, so, in that way, uh, today I made it, and the rest my plans you have already know. Yes, and we hope that you can get all the dreams that you wanna. And I know, we know, we are sure that you will get. Well, now we have a question for our miss, for our coach. Uh, we would like to know, well, it's for both. Uh, we would like to know that you tell us how you prepared for this awesome dance, because it was so beautiful. It was something that happened suddenly, but uh, that didn't stop us uh, for, for that. Together with Coach Mitchell, we dedicate a lot of uh, hours to practicing uh, by virtual the steps. T today we did it, and uh, it's something that uh, it will be. I will be happy to remember. Well, and how about you, Coach Michelle? Well, in my case, my boss told me <laughs> four minutes. Uh, I go, so you dance, please prepare your favorite user, Miss Angie. So I said here, well, but I only dance Indian style. It is okay. He she said me, yes, show your talent. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we are here today. This is my time. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Thank you again. 
And again, congratulations, it was beautiful. And nuevamente, despidámosla con un fuerte aplauso a ambas. La verdad, qué magnífica entrevista la que pudimos tener. Impresionante la relación de coach usuario que a cada uno nos ha tocado vivir, ¿no es así, Norman? Exactamente, Miss Yahaira. Y me alegra ver tanto cómo Focus Your Mind ha ido formando cada vez más y más personas bilingües. De esta manera, aportando un gran valor tanto a la comunidad como al país. Y todo esto gracias a Focus Your Mind. Volvemos con ustedes, Miss Damaris. Thank you, Mr. Norman. He was really impressed about the Angie's talent. <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> uh, it was good. So now, uh, vamos a invitar a todo el staff y uh, los coaches que van a estar presentando el, el clásico himno de Focus. Entonces, vamos a poder invitar a todos, uh, por favor, aquí al podio, para que puedan presentar. Uh, ser parte eh, acerca de este himno, ¿no? De Focus, por favor. Siempre he querido poder realizar El fruto de mi trabajo Que a diario he sembrado Me prosperará Porque todos esperan Que rompan fronteras Sabiendo que soy Parte de esta gran empresa Que crece y prospera bandera para trascender nuestra labor con altura que orgullosamente me ha hecho crecer refresco el conocimiento gozando lo que hago en mi diario vivir busco el fortalecimiento que solo aquí encuentro y me hace surgir todos los días Ay, ¿por qué luchar? Y mientras viva, mi meta será El proyecto de vida que siempre he querido poder realizar El fruto de mi trabajo que a diario he sembrado me prosperará Porque todos esperan que rompa fronteras soy parte de esta gran empresa que crece y progresa. Focus your mind.
realmente un gran talento en cada uno de nuestros coaches y también parte del staff, ¿no? Mr. Julio, continuamos. Es correcto, mis amaris. Y cómo no estar emocionado este día si todos nos estamos certificando del idioma inglés tan usado en el mundo y cómo no hacerlo alegremente en Focus Your Mind. En estos momentos continuaremos con el reconocimiento a un sueño hecho realidad. Llamamos a los protagonistas de esta ceremonia. Procederemos a nombrar al primer grupo de usuarios graduados. Por favor, Miss Damaris. Empezamos. Sede de Cochabamba. Usuaria Tania Rosario Tintaya Larico, estudiante de turismo. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Desde Cochabamba también, Carla Patricia Cabezas La Fuente, licenciada, licenciada bioquímica y de farmacia. Eso. Continuamos. Desde la sede de Cochabamba tenemos a Vanessa Zambrana Bernal. Ella es contadora pública. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Eso. Desde Cochabamba también, Van Camila Quispe Nogales, estudiante de Derecho e Ingeniera de Sistema. Nuestro quinto usuario desde la sede de Cochabamba nos acompaña Wilson Marcelo Pérez Murillo. Él es Ingeniero en Sistemas. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Desde Cochabamba también, Graciela Naí León Bustillos, estudiante de Trabajo Social. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Continuamos. Desde la sede de Cochabamba, damos un aplauso a Carla Andrea Salinas Segarra. Ella es ingeniera petrolera. Seguimos en Cochabamba y llamamos a James Terán Villarruel, estudiante de radiología. Un aplauso, por favor. Desde la sede de Cochabamba tenemos a Saraí Cristina Cali Puente. Ella es estudiante de ingeniería industrial. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Desde Cochabamba, Hernán Méndez Peralta, estudiante de agronomía. De la misma manera de la sede de Cochabamba, tenemos a Leida Mariana Baltasar Quispe, ella es estudiante, tripulante de cabina. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Sede de Cochabamba, Kelly Abigail Nayeli Fernández Calderón. Estudiante, un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Continuamos con nuestros usuarios de la sede de Cochabamba. Ella es Catherine Jaciel Candia Rodríguez, estudiante de Ingeniería Industrial. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Continuamos con Nicolás Daza Pérez, estudiante de Ingeniería Civil. Fuerte aplauso, por favor. Llamamos a nuestro penúltimo usuario de la sede de Cochabamba, que es Jennifer Amanda Loredo Riva. Ella es licenciada en turismo. Y la última de la sede de Cochabamba, Carla Cecilia Pérez Petrinovich, estudiante de tripulante de cabina. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Continuamos, mister. Ahora vámonos con todos los que están, eh, los usuarios graduados desde la ciudad de La Paz. Ella es Ivonne Sandra Carrasco Carballo, ella es contadora general administrativa. Por favor, un fuerte aplauso para los usuarios de La Paz. Seguimos en La Paz con la graduada Ruby Naila Alave Llanos, estudiante de gestión de turismo. Eso. También tenemos a Michelle Rosario Ruiz Solís, ella es ingeniera ambiental. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Continuamos con la señorita Noeli Joan Llanco Rivas, estudiante de ingeniería industrial.
También desde la sede de La Paz nos acompaña la usuaria Jocelyn Belén Llanco Rivas. Ella es ingeniera electrónica. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Seguimos en la ciudad de La Paz y continuamos con el graduado Andrés Luciano Flores Loza, ingeniero comercial. Nuestra siguiente graduada de la Ciudad de La Paz es Ruth Jocelyn Limachi Calizaya. Ella es estudiante. La siguiente es Melisa Frida López Ticona, licenciada en Gastronomía. Vamos a dar paso también, ¿no? Eh, viendo mediante las pantallas y los que están conectados mediante internet, para que puedan ver a cada uno de nuestros usuarios. Continuamos. Con nuestra usuaria desde La Paz, Kiara Milenka Ortega Orihuela. Ella es estudiante. Eso. La Kiara Bravo. Y otra usuaria de La Paz, Alexandra Tamara Montaño. Estudiante de Ingeniería Comercial. Un aplauso, por favor. Continuamos. Eh, damos paso también a la usuaria graduada. Ella es Alexandra Tamara Montaño, estudiante de Ingeniería Comercial. El siguiente graduado, igualmente de la Ciudad de La Paz, es Santiago Lucas Torrico Flores, estudiante. Un aplauso, por favor. Vamos con más graduados de la Ciudad de La Paz. Ella es Guara Alejandra Pérez Méndez. Ella es abogada. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Y desde la Ciudad de La Paz también, Jocelyn Kenaya Miranda Quispe, estudiante de Medicina. Fuerte aplauso, por favor. Eso. Podemos ver, ¿no, mister, cómo cada uno de los usuarios, eh, una sonrisa en el rostro de haber concluido esta nueva etapa, ¿verdad? Y cómo no estar emocionado este día, si se están certificando el del idioma inglés y de Focus Your Mind. Totalmente de acuerdo. Continuamos entonces con nuestra querida usuaria, Lizeth Verónica Alvarado Rojas. Ella es fisioterapeuta kinesióloga. Eso. El siguiente de la Ciudad de La Paz, Fernando Brian Calcina Bellot, ingeniero industrial. Continuamos. Recibimos a nuestra flamante graduada, ella es Fabiola Dayana Guerrero Espejo y ella es auditora financiera. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Siguiente graduada, Flora Eugenia Quispe Palle. Ella es de profesión ingeniera electrónica. Un aplauso, por favor. Continuamos con nuestro siguiente usuario. Él es Kevin Félix Mamani Espinosa, estudiante de comunicación social y empresario. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Continuamos con la graduada número 35, igualmente de la Ciudad de La Paz, Tania Lisset Tambo Callizaya, ingeniera comercial. Vamos con el último usuario de la Ciudad de La Paz. Ella es Celeste Maite Barcena Rojas, estudiante preuniversitaria y graduada ya del inglés. ¿No es cierto, mister? Es correcto. Y ahora ingresamos en la localía, mis amaris. Estamos en la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Empezamos con José Félix Palenque Núñez, estudiante de Ingeniería Financiera. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor.
Continuamos con nuestro siguiente usuario, Aníbal David Segovia Valdelomar. Él es estudiante y damos un fuerte aplauso, por favor. El siguiente graduado de la noche es Eric John Claros Arrayaza, estudiante de Comercio Internacional. Fuerte aplauso, por favor. Finalmente damos paso a nuestro último graduado del primer grupo, no es así, mister, de la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Ella es Ana Lucía Jordán Paredes. Ella es profesora de Ciencias Naturales. Un aplauso, por favor. Realmente ese es el momento para sentirnos muy orgullosos de una nue nueva meta alcanzada. Y gracias a la familia de Focus Your Mind, Vamos a dar un fuerte aplauso, por favor, a todos nuestro, nuestros primeros graduados y posteriormente estaremos mencionando a los demás. Por favor, un fuerte aplauso. Thank you, Ms. Damaris. At Focus Your Mind, we are really proud of each of the results of our users have shown. And now I'm really proud to present our special guest, who bring us our advice related to the importance of English in society. Please welcome to Ms. Fumi Scarlett Guragua Vasquez, who will be talking to us from Spain. Un fuerte aplauso para la Ms. Fumi, por favor. Le damos la bienvenida a Fumi Scarlett Guragua Vasquez. Ella es de nacionalidad boliviana, usuaria de Focus Your Mind. Actualmente tiene 25 años, se encuentra residiendo en España y ella es ingeniera de alimentos. Nuevamente recibámosla con un muy fuerte aplauso, por favor. A continuación vamos a pasar un pequeño video acerca del de trabajo de Fumi Kuroiwa. Bueno, en este caso vamos a pasar directamente a lo que es la eh, entrevista. Vamos a hacerle unas, unas cuantas preguntas a Miss Fumi. Bueno, Miss Fumi, bienvenida. Queremos preguntarte, queremos que nos cuentes un poco acerca de tu experiencia con el idioma inglés y de cómo este ha podido cambiar tu vida. Yes, good evening everyone. I am currently studying for a master's degree in Spain. Uh, and knowing English is something essential in my life right now. The most recent research books and study material are in English. And understanding this language has helped me a lot in my life as a student and even more so in, ma in the master that I am doing now. On the other hand, speaking English has allowed me to meet and interact with many people from other countries and make friends, which was my best experience so far. At the beginning, also, the speaking was the most difficult part for me, and being able to speak it has been a personal achievement. So I am really proud. Muchas gracias, Fumi. La verdad, qué orgullosos nos sentimos. Eh, bueno, un aplauso. Acá todos te mandan desde La Paz. Bueno, Muchas soy de Santa Cruz, perdón. Igualmente. Este, nos sentimos muy orgullosos de ver todo el crecimiento que has tenido desde acá, desde Focus Your Mind. Y bueno, queremos preguntarte y pedirte qué consejo podrías darle a toda la población boliviana que te está viendo en estos momentos sobre el poder aprender inglés en estos tiempos tan globalizados. Sí, bueno, hoy en día el poder hablar inglés te abre bastantes puertas, te permite acceder a mejores programas estudiantiles, como becas, intercambios, también te ayuda a conseguir mejores ofertas laborales, eso es lo que uno conoce, ¿no? Pero lo mejor de todo, en lo personal, es que al ser un idioma universal te permite conocer distintas culturas, con eso puedes conocer eh, diferente gente, comunicarse, y eso la verdad que te expande bastante la mente y aprendes muchas cosas nuevas. Entonces, de verdad, es una, una experiencia muy enriquecedora y por esto y más les recomiendo a todas las personas que se animen a aprender otro idioma, en especial el inglés, y les aseguro que no se van a arrepentir. Gracias por tan bellas palabras, Miss Fumi. 
Y bueno, para terminar, quisieras tal vez mandar un saludo o algún agradecimiento a alguna persona que, o algún familiar que te está viendo en estos momentos vía virtual. Eh, sí, claro. En especial a mi mamá, que bueno, espero que me esté viendo, <ríe> le mandé el link. Y bueno, gracias a ella es que fue posible ¿no? que yo pase las clases. Entonces, mis especiales saludos para ella más que todo. Perfecto, muchas gracias Fumi por ser parte de esta maravillosa velada junto con nosotros y muchas nuevamente gracias. gracias por acompañarnos. Pasamos con ustedes, Mr. Julio. Muchas gracias, Mr. Norman. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, la sorpresa de la noche. Tenemos en exclusiva un número preparado por sus queridos coaches, los cuales representarán de manera única con sus talentos la sorpresa para todos los users. Por favor, prestemos mucha atención y demos un fuerte aplauso para los coaches.
wow, qué gran talento de todos nuestros queridos coaches. Mr. Julio, yo me quedé muy sorprendida que lo tenía muy escondido. Yo nunca los había visto así. <risa> Primera vez, Mr. Definitivamente, mis amaris. Un espectáculo. Y bueno, me comunican que tenemos más invitados en el lobby. Estamos con ustedes, Miss Yajaira. Exacto, Mr. Julio, muchas gracias. Estamos con invitados que nos seguirán contando su experiencia en Focus Your Mind. Exactamente, señores. Vamos a pasar con la segunda parte de nuestro interview show. En esta ocasión tendremos a un invitado, a un usuario de la ciudad de Potosí, y que es nada más y nada menos que Mr. Paulino Carvajal. Le damos la bienvenida con un muy fuerte aplauso, por favor. En este caso, igualmente vamos, bueno, vamos a poder observar un pequeño video de, de Mr. Paulino Carvajal y, y la experiencia que ha tenido dentro de lo que es Focus Your Mind. Soy Paulino Carvajal Laguna, hijo único, padre de cuatro hijos y trabajo desde hace 30 años en la Universidad Autónoma Tomás Frías en la carrera de Ingeniería Económica. De hecho, tengo 59 años. Mis actividades diarias se centran en el trabajo de las clases y hasta hace poco en la oficina porque estuve fungiendo como director de carrera. El tiempo libre lo dedico a mis hijos, hablo solo de mis cuatro hijos porque son mi inspiración y todo lo hago pensando en ellos, además de su descendencia, es decir, mis nietos. Muy aparte de trabajar, me gusta leer, investigar y seguir creciendo, gracias a ellos que logré con mucho esfuerzo, obviamente, mi dedicación, licenciatura, diplomado, grado de magíster, el grado de PhD, y lo último, el último logro de la gestión pasada fue eh, ser, eh, recibirme como coach, mentor, educador y gracias a ello fui seleccionado como coach responsable para la formación de profesores en varios países latinoamericanos y de España. Eh, esto todo en el área de la educación virtual. Y bueno, lo último que ahora estoy logrando es sin duda mi diploma en Focus de Online. Por lo demás, me gusta leer, me gusta tocar guitarra, aunque dejé de hacerlo hace mucho tiempo. Y creo que me dedico más a estudiar y mi vida transcurre en esa normalidad en la cual me encanta el campo educativo, compartiendo con gente que me aprecia, que me ama. Como persona, me considero una persona sensible, tranquila y muy sagaz, eso sí. Esto no me hace diferente, simplemente soy normal, llevo mi vida con naturalidad, estoy preparado para cualquier contingencia y pondría todo mi esfuerzo para no desmayar fácilmente. Muy fuerte el aplauso para Mr. Paulino Carvajal. Como hemos podido ver, él es de la ciudad de Potosí, actualmente tiene 59 años de edad, es PhD en Ciencias de la Educación, Magíster en Educación Superior, licenciado en Ciencias Computacionales y licenciado en Lingüística de Idiomas Nativos. En esta ocasión lo vamos a tener mediante una conexión vía Zoom, lo recibamos con un fuerte, con un muy fuerte aplauso a Mr. Paulino Carvajal. Bienvenido Mr. Paulino, estamos felices de tenerlo esta noche aquí. Y queremos proceder a hacerle algunas preguntas que nos llenan de mucha curiosidad. La primera es, how did you know about Fox? Good evening, everybody. I am very proud to be part of Fox. I remember that it was uh, an afternoon when I was working and while I was checking my cell phone, I saw an advertisement that talked about learning English in a creative way and also talking about learning technical English. As I work in the area of computer engineering, because I was quite interested, interested in addition to knowing English because I also dedicate 
myself to teaching it. That moment was an opportunity to improve my knowledge. And I immediately I got in touch. I remember perfectly that it was Miss Lisette. I guess she was from La Paz. She's the person I remember the most and well. After I signed up and so began the adventure in focus for me. Well, thank you for your beautiful answer, Mr. Paulino. And yeah, it's so beautiful to see you here with all the graduates today, even at the distance. And we would like to know something that, a question, well, what was your favorite memory when you were at Focus? Memory. It's difficult to have a single memory because during all this time, a series of events have had to occur that were mostly positive. For example, meeting many coaches between men and women, each of them with their own style based on an active methodology and didactics. Classmates of different ages and with different interests, some more motivated, uh, others with different difficulties. Um, there are many memories achieved and that remain in my heart. I do not want to refer to the names of coaches because I could forget some of them and it does not seem a fair, but everyone has done their part for my growth and for that I am very grateful. However, it's rightly said that uh, what remains most in the mind is the bad. Because the memory uh, that I will not forget, because it has created an enormous lesson at my age, is that focus throughout its executives made it possible to give me a second change when I was practically already almost out. That is, and leaving the focus program Otherwise, at this time, another would be the lucky person to be in this interview. And why I say that he taught me something great on my age, I pass it on my classmates and the public present is that nothing in the li in life is easy. What is easy does not give satisfaction and that each achievement is a step by a step. And as you can see, it's a memory that leaves me a great lesson. But do not forget that all this has been thanks to the executive of Focus. Thank you very much for all of them and to Miss Zanaida, who was the person who linked me. Uh, thank you very much. I would like to send a virtual hat to each one of them in hope that one day I will be in front of them uh, to give them a physical hat. When I say everyone, well, it means that I send my enormous, okay, most, most, most big, biggest uh, hub to entire Focus Bolivia. Thank you. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor, para Mr. Paulino. Muchas gracias por sus hermosas palabras, Mr. Paulino. Y la última pregunta que me gustaría hacerle es: How was your experience of Focus Your Mind? My experience. Just in one word, great. Without doubt, my experience has been great because I have managed uh, to grow with the contribution of focus. I consider that the level of my English is very good. I educated my hearing and my speech quite well. There is no doubt an experience great, and if you allow me, I want to recommend to those who are interested in an adequate methodology to learn English language Focus is a good option, but be careful. With a lot of uh, effort, nothing happens by a miracle, because it may be it may happen that someone enrolls and does not have good results. It's uh, unfortunately when they do not recognize their limitation and blame the institutions, and it should not be like that. If you enroll, good effort, then have results. Sorry for being a bit clear of this part, but I prefer not to shut it up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. I am very happy and very proud to be part of Focus Family. Thank you. Thank you to you, Mr. Paulino. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. 
Estamos totalmente orgullosos de usted, Mr. Paulino, y para algunas de las personas que no saben inglés, que están aquí presentes, él dijo que si uno puede y quiere, lo hace y lo logra. Así que sigan sus sueños y no importa la edad, no importa qué, siempre los van a lograr. Qué maravillosas palabras, Miss Jaira, Mr. Paulino. Muchas gracias por brindarnos tan maravillosa entrevista, por brindarnos tan bellas palabras en este día, tan sabios consejos que estoy seguro que muchos de los acá presentes lo van a tener muy presente, muy en cuenta. Nuevamente, gracias por acompañarnos el día de hoy y nuevamente, felicidades por ser parte de uno de los graduados de Focus Your Mind. Y bueno, también queremos mandar un saludo y una felicitación a todos los graduados que nos están acompañando vía Zoom, tanto en la ciudad de Potosí como en el resto de los departamentos. Un fuerte aplauso para todos, por favor. Ahora vamos a proceder nuevamente con Mr. Julio. Muchas gracias, Mr. Norman, y excelente entrevista, Ms. Yajaira y Mr. Norman. Y muchas gracias nuevamente, Paulino Carvajal. A continuación, llevaremos a cabo el segundo reconocimiento a todos los graduados de la noche. Reiteramos, este es el momento de sentirse muy orgullosos de una nueva meta alcanzada. Es así, entonces vamos a proceder a nombrar a cada uno de ellos. Entonces vamos al lobby con ustedes, Miss Yahaira y Mr. Norman. Muchas gracias, Miss Damaris. Por favor, recibamos con un fuerte aplauso a Heriberta Carrasco Salanes, que ella es de Santa Cruz, ella es licenciada en Artes. Nuevamente pasamos a decir, Heriberta Carrasco Alanes, licenciada en Artes, ella es de Santa Cruz. Fuerte aplauso, por favor. También desde la ciudad de Santa Cruz nos acompaña Mr. Álvaro Torres Guayas, que es estudiante. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos a Abigail Alborzón Álvarez, ella es de Santa Cruz, ingeniera comercial. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Nos acompaña desde Santa Cruz, Daniel Segovia Valdelomar, estudiante de colegio. Pasamos a Erika Rebeca Centeno Escobar, ella es de Santa Cruz y es licenciada bioquímica. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos a Milka Centeno Escobar, licenciada de Administración de Empresas de la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos por Fumes, Carle Curaga Vázquez, ella es de Santa Cruz, pero actualmente está en España, ella es licenciada en alimentos. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Nos acompaña desde Santa Cruz igualmente, Mr. Ricardo Gabriel Olotergui Ruiz, ingeniero comercial. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos a Daniel Droguet Sengoku, él es estudiante de Ingeniería Electrónica, también de Santa Cruz. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Le damos un fuerte aplauso a Juan Marcelo Valenzuela Socorre, administrador financiero de la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos por Piort Emanuel Baca Yelén, él es estudiante de comunicación también de Santa Cruz. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. También nos acompaña como uno de los graduados, Sebastián Melgar Gamarra, ingeniero petrolero de la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Pasamos por Rodrigo Melgar Gamarra, él es ingeniero petrolero, también de Santa Cruz. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Sí. 
Le damos un fuerte aplauso a Roger Fernando Palacios Herbas, desde la ciudad de Sucre, él es médico cirujano. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos por Jacqueline López Barrero, ella es estudiante y también de Sucre. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Oh, fuerte el aplauso. Le damos un fuerte aplauso a Alejandro López Barrero, desde la ciudad de Sucre, él es abogado. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos por Erika Arismendi Carrasco, ella es estudiante de Economía, nos visita desde Potosí. Fuerte aplauso, por favor. Eso... Desde la ciudad de Potosí nos acompaña Natalia Belén López Menacho, ella es voluntaria. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. También desde Potosí, Paulino Carvajal Laguna, él es licenciado en Ciencias Computacionales, PhD. Un fuerte aplauso para Mr. Paulino. Desde la ciudad del Carnaval, desde Oruro, nos acompaña Raiza Murillo Paredes. Ella es contadora pública. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Desde Beni, un fuerte aplauso, por favor, para Mario Sebastián Cachizanga. Él es estudiante. Le damos un fuerte aplauso a Luis Alejandro Cachizanga, él es de Beni y es estudiante. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Desde Cochabamba, por favor, recibamos con un fuerte aplauso a Angie Madeley Angulo Calcina, ella es empresaria. Perfecto, continuamos. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Aplausos, por favor. Continuamos con María Gerarda Ugarteche Vidal. Ella es de Santa Cruz, es economista en comercio exterior. Fuerte, Fuerte aplauso. aplauso. Ahora desde Santa Cruz. Vamos. Qué orgullo, hermoso. Ahora sí. Desde Santa Cruz, María Alejandra López Ugarte, ella es estudiante de diseño gráfico. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor, para Alejandra. Continuamos con Esther Elizabeth Astetegues, de la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Ella es estudiante. La recibimos con un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Ahora presentamos a Joana Chávez Mercado de Santa Cruz, ella es estudiante, un fuerte aplauso por favor. Un fuerte aplauso por favor. Continuamos 
con Yomara Chávez Mercado. Ella es estudiante de la ciudad de Santa Cruz y le damos un muy fuerte aplauso, por favor. Ahora, con un fuerte aplauso, por favor, recibamos a Claudia Avedaño Paz. Ella es licenciada farmacéutica también de Santa Cruz. También nos acompaña de manera presencial esta noche Helen Tamara Cueto Castro. Ella es de la ciudad de Santa Cruz y es estudiante. Un muy fuerte aplauso, por favor. Pasamos ahora por Franco Gabriel Soruco Pasquel, él es estudiante y también de Santa Cruz. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Recibamos con un fuerte aplauso a Jimena Marisol Vargas Fernández, estudiante de arquitectura de la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Con un fuerte aplauso recibamos a Angeli Juliana Vargas Fernández, ella es estudiante desde Santa Cruz también, por favor un fuerte aplauso para ella. Ahora pasamos y le damos la bienvenida con un muy fuerte aplauso a Brian Daniel Vázquez Medina, estudiante de Ingeniería Electromecánica de la ciudad de Santa Cruz. Le damos la bienvenida igualmente con un muy fuerte aplauso a la señorita Damaris Candia, una de, una de nuestras graduadas de Focus Your Mind. Un fuerte aplauso para Damaris, por favor. Ahora queremos recibir con un fuerte aplauso a Julio Alejandro Rojas Barba. Él es ingeniero petrolero también de Santa Cruz. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor.
continuamos entonces llamando a nuestros flamantes graduados. Eh, por favor, invitamos a Norman Arón Arteaga Push. Él es ingeniero químico. Por favor, un fuerte aplauso. ¡Eso! Y ahora, la última de la noche. Fuerte aplauso, por favor. Y ahora, de Santa Cruz, la última graduada de la noche, Miss Yajaira Chávez Mercado. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor, para ella. Congratulations to all of you guys. Es gratificante saber que hemos causado un cambio muy trascendental en todos nuestros queridos usuarios. ¿No es así, mister? Es así, mis amaris. Y por favor, veamos una muestra de ello. Invitamos cordialmente al coordinador de iPractice, Mr. Rorbin, el cual hará una presentación de los proyectos y nos hablará un poco de ello. Please welcome, Mr. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, congratulations to all of you guys. So, you finally did it. So, congratulations. Now, we will, uh, I will speak a little bit about your projects, all, the, all your projects that you did it, right? So, let me start first with, uh, with let's see, here we have, the projects that we're going to see today, you did it with all the effort, right? Some, some of you didn't know how to edit videos, right, at the beginning, but you had to learn, and that's great. So you learn, other than English, you also learn how to edit videos, right? So now, at Focus, we have talent, and that talent is you, right? So, uh, ahora, Queremos recordarles que todos los usuarios que se encuentran con nosotros esta noche presentaron un Focus Project y fueron evaluados por un jurado antes de esta ceremonia. ¿okay? Eh, los más destacados han sido seleccionados previamente, previamente por la mesa de jurados teniendo en cuenta lo siguiente, temática y contenido de Focus Project, formato y presentación, habilidad con el inglés y la exposición. Okay, vamos a pasar con las diapositivas que tenemos acá. So, at the beginning we have some uh, physical activities where some of you are uh, like to play uh, activities, right? Like to do activities and here we have some of the projects which are Right here, uh, for example, mountain biking, uh, some of you like to go to the gym, uh, others do taekwondo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and after this we have, uh, some of you spoke about uh, financial crisis with some sports, also you guys did wrestling, how to play soccer, uh, for example, here, uh, Mr. Julio did, right? The GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo, his best player. Nice. Sí. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Other people are uh, like animals, right? And are also aware of some animals. So in this presentation, we have some users that did their project about animals. The first one that we have, uh, animal abuse. Okay. Uh, the other one, dogs on the street we also have the fastest and the fastest animal and the cutest animal also some of our teens our kids did about cats uh, this kid really loves cats so that's why he did cats 
And also we have here, uh, some of you like to travel around the world, right? And here we have Tursin, where we have, uh, we had our user from Spain, right? Which uh, you guys know, she was Fumi, and she tells us about her experience through different cultures. Also, we have some protected areas. In, this is in La Paz. Okay, and we all, some of our users also did uh, projects such as uh, our culture. Okay, and here we have two projects, which are, uh, I, I'm sorry, I mean three projects, Dance of the Saya, Tundin, Tundinki, and Caporal. Okay, traditional culture uh, in Bolivia, and also some history of John Street in La Paz. Okay, we also have some technology. Some of you like really love technology, right? And here we have some of the projects that spoke about technology. Cri uh, cryptography, right? Robotic and artificial intelligence and, and the human. We also have automobiles and petroleum. Some, some users like to, do, like to use technology with uh, doing some podcasts. Also, uh, some of our users did chose topics from our books, okay? In our books we have, for example, uh, technology in the present and versus the past. So that's what we have there. Also we have our agriculture from Bolivia. Uh, also we have international bank transactions. Now, let's go, let's speak a little bit about health, okay? And here we have some users that did some of these projects. Some of these projects are uh, to help us get better, okay? For example, business of the 21st century, which talks about some products that they sell and that's, uh, that's good for our health. Street in uh, the food, uh, street food in, uh, in La Paz, Okay, another one, heli Helicobacter uh, pylori infection. Diet according to the Bible. Interesting, right? We also have, we speak about God here. Nice. Uh, other that we have, contemporary art behind a simple anatomy book. Some people really love to listen to music, to sing, and this is what they have done. We have a project that a user spoke music in our voice. Sorry, music is our voice, okay? Another one that we have is how important is music for people? And another user spoke about their favorite band, which is One Direction. And other users spoke about uh, some concerts that they went to and that's rock in Rio. What we also have here is some users did uh, projects about their hobbies, what they like to do in their daily life, or what they really love and they are really passionate about. And here we have movies. I know many of you uh, also like movies, right? But this one likes Batman series, and he did his project about this. We also have a user who is kid, okay? He's a kid and he did about his favorite uh, series, which is Dragon Ball, okay? We also have some users that did about uh, manga, manhua and manhua. Uh, that's some, some series uh, that comes from a different culture, a different country. We also have some users that did about makeup their process and how to use makeup, some tips, they gave us some tips, how to make up. Okay, we also have here, uh, some people really love to read and this user did her project uh, in the shadow of Alan Poe. We also have Miss Ana Lucia who did her project about reading, what you can do to improve your reading, so many things that she gave us, okay. Uh, 
All right. Some people are really worried about the country or about the planet, and these users did a project about this. So let's see. For example, we have a user that did her project or his project. What? What? Um, why we don't learn English? Another one. Uh, this is more for uh, Cochabamba. He was worried about a lake in Cochabamba, and his project was about how to solve and improve Alalai Lagoon. Another project that uh, has been done is why being introverted. She speaks a little bit about why it's good to be introverted, and it's not always good to be uh, outgoing, OK? We have another user that spoke about Angelina uh, Merkel's legacy. And another one, developing good habits, not only uh, to be the best person, but also encouraging others to achieve their goals. OK, we continue with this, with this awareness that we have in the world. Some people did a project about the importance of improvement and physical activity. This, this user was worried about the pandemic. So how can we improve kids to take them out so they can do physical activity? Because this is very important for our children. OK, another user did uh, about eating disorder. Okay, we have another one who is reinventing, reinvention of the HR post pandemic, which is also worried about this pandemic that has really hit us really hard, right? So another one is about empathy, okay? Uh, also about forest, forest fire in Bolivia. We're getting, we're getting close to our top 15 uh, projects, so Let's see, let's continue with this. We are really, really close. So some other users did about Miracle in Los Angeles. I know everybody knows this, is, this, this uh, story because it, it was really famous. So another one did about evolution. We have also uh, another project, which was the importance of children uh, centers in society. Also, we have the person who had admired the most. This user did her project about the person who was really important for her. We also have another project that is, why do we buy? Have you ever thought about that question? Why do we buy? Do you guys have a reason? Okay, so now we have many projects and also we have kids, right? As you know, también tenemos niños dentro del, del programa y acá tenemos Three projects, tres proyectos about kids, okay? So in this part, we're going to invite them so they, we can ask them a question, okay? So I want them to be ready. Guys, if you are listening, you know who you are, and let's see. We have three projects, and these are real amazing projects, okay? We have uh, Miss Kelly, uh, who, is, who did her project about karate, okay? And let's see, let's ask her a question about her project. I don't know if uh, we have her ready with cameras. Okay, let's see. Uh, we also have another user, so he can start getting ready. Okay, so Miss Kelly, can you hear us all the way from Cochabamba, right, Miss? Can you hear me? Are you there? Yes, coach. All right, great. So let's see, Miss Kelly, I have a question for you, okay? Can you tell us? Why do you practice karate? Uh, because it's important the self-defense and the discipline for me. Karate is complete discipline in which you can train yourself and get strong your body and spirit. I really like karate. Okay, nice. That's really, really, really nice to hear you, Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Kelly, all the way from Cochabamba. Great. So please, yes, give her a plus. She finished the program, she did it. As you, she was studying in school. She was with classes and she also managed to finish the program. That's amazing. All right, now let's go to the next, to the next. Thank you, Miss Kelly. Thank you very much for being here tonight and congratulations. All right, now let's go to the next, next user who is Mr. Mario, okay? 
Let's see, here we have, and Mr. Mario did his project about Dragon Ball. Hello, Mr. Mario, how are you today? Hello, I am fine. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Where do you live? Where are you right now, Mr. Mr. Mario? I'm in Benin, Sosanabat. Well, as you can see, guys, we have users from all around Bolivia, right? Great. So, Mr. Mario, I have a question for you. Can you tell us why, why do you like Dragon Ball? Uh, I like Dragon Ball because the story of Son Goku is amazing and how the other characters develop, also how he saves his planet to live in peace with his friends. I also like it because it can teach you about values like the friendship Goku has with his friends or giving his enemies another chance to become better people and of course to never give up to achieve your goal. Okay, okay, nice. As, as you guys heard, well, in, as I, I will tell you really quickly, every, all the users know that we have values in, in books, right? So Mr. Mr. Mario applied that, and he also learned these values from Dragon Ball. Okay, nice. Thank you, Mr. Mario, and congratulations also to you for achieving this goal. Okay, please, can, you, can we give a round of applause for Mr. Mario, please? A round of applause, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mario. Now, we have another user, which happens to be his little brother, okay? We have another user who is younger, okay? This user is Mr. Luis. Maybe you, you had the chance to be with, uh, with them in sessions, right? Mr. Luis, hello, are you there? Yes. Hello, hello, Mr. How are you today? I am fine. Great. So, Mr. Mr. Luis, you did your project about cats, right? Why uh, do yeah. you like cats, Mr. Mr. Luis? Why do you like cats? I like cats because they are beautiful and they are not very dangerous as dogs. And they don't need a lot of attention as dogs. <laughs> okay, so they don't need they, they don't need a lot, right? They just need a little. <laughs> okay, great, very good, Mr. Mario. Mr. I mean, Mr. Luis. Sorry, I get confused with you guys. Okay, so thank you very much, Mr. Luis. It was really nice talking to you, and congratulations. Okay, so everybody, please, can we give him a round of applause? Congratulations, Mr. Luis. All right. Now let's go to the top, to the top, uh, we have 15, 16 videos here, uh, projects that we are going to congratulate them and we are also going to ask them questions. It might be you, any, anybody from here, which is uh, here right now, or it could be you that it's at your house, okay? So the first one, let's see, let's see who is the 15, the 15 or 16, let's check, let's check. Here we have with the top projects. Okay, we have here the 16. We're going to start with the 16th project, which is uh, about podcast. Okay, this is a user that really likes to do uh, some recording. Okay, and is Mr. Piotr Baca. Well, I have, uh, I never could say his name right. So, Mr. Piotr, are you there? Mr. Do we have Mr. Piotr on the on the line, Mr. No? Okay, so they they are getting ready. So let me tell you a little bit about this project, okay? Podcast. He ro he works in uh, uh, recording things and doing the, some activities like uh, like this, okay? So he he did his project about this and let's see Mr. Piotr, are you there? Can you speak? Can you hear us? I I did this project because um, I don't I like I like I like the podcast. Uh, I can I can listen uh, some podcasts when I have uh, much time. I have free time. And yes, I consider that it's very important for learning new language for us and. Yes. 
All I right. think uh, for me the podcast uh, helped me help me to speak speak uh, with other people that I I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay, great, Mr. Piotr. You know, I I never could say your name right, right? When we were in session, I was always saying your name wrong. And we have some users that I used to say their their names wrong, and they used to correct me at sessions. <laughs> so that's that's right. Okay, so let's go to the next next user, who happens to be, let's see, place number fifteen. Who is number fourteen, Mister? Ricardo Lertegui, he did his project about Batman, Batman series that he really likes. Well, I think he's not here tonight, but let's congratulate him uh, for his effort. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let's go to 13. Well, we were missing one. Then let's go to 12. We have Miss Catherine. Uh, he did this project, Rock and Rio. Well, she told me a little bit about this project uh, when we were in sessions. She really likes she really likes to listen to music. Miss Catherine, are you there? Are you here with us live? Hello, coach. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Miss, can you tell us why do you like music? Uh, well, I really like music because, um, uh, for example, when I listen, uh, I really like Christian music, right? Uh, there are many, uh, many artists, uh, many interesting artists, uh, and I like so much because uh, when I listen, I uh, I feel uh, peace. Um, yes, I really like coach music. All right, thank you very much, Miss Catherine. She was uh, speaking from Cochabamba. All right, nice. Let's go. Let's go to the next project, which is let's see. Here we have uh, traditional tradition. Traditional Bolivian culture from Jocelyn. She <coughs> she's from uh, La Paz, okay. And her her mother actually owns a store who lends uh, traditional clothing. So let's see, Miss Jocelyn, are you here with us? Can you hear us? Well, no, Miss Jocelyn. This is Miss Jocelyn Yanko. No. The other Jocelyn, do we have the other Jocelyn? Miranda, Jocelyn Miranda, where's Miss Jocelyn Miranda? <laughs> we have, we have, we really have many users. Maybe we, we might see Miss, uh, Miss Jocelyn later, okay? But at this moment, this is the user who did this project, okay? So, Miss Jocelyn, can you tell us a little bit about your project? Why did you decide to do this project? Why did you choose this topic? Okay, um, first, good evening, everyone. And answer the question is because I grew up in this environment, and only I think that I need to show our culture to the all the all the people as possible. And when you say that um, my mom sell all the accessories that you need for dance. So uh, for my good luck, <laughs> I have all the possibility to talk about this. Um, why did I choose this topic? Because I love the folklore. I love our folklore. And I have the opportunity to dance in many ballets, like uh, Bajo Paz or other ballets. That's the main reason. All right. Yes, of course, Miss Jocelyn. It's really nice for you to show our culture, our Bolivian culture, to the world, right? Actually, everybody, many people around the world is uh, is going to be watching this video. So yes, thank you very much, Miss Jocelyn, for showing our culture to the world. Now let's go to the number ten, which is. 
a meditation break with yoga. So this is from Ms. Tatiana Encinas. She's actually not here tonight, or do we have her, Ms. Tatiana Encinas? Do we have her? Well, uh, she actually did this project. Uh, she's living in um, Chile, okay? She lives in Chile, and she finished her project all virtually. So congratulations, Ms. Tatiana. You got the uh, top 10, and you were the 10. Let's see, let's go to the next project, which is number nine, okay? Now we have the other Jocelyn that showed, Miss Jocelyn Janko, <laughs> okay? So now it's your turn to shine, Miss. Where are you? Are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, coach, good evening, good evening, guys. I'm still really, really excited for this night, coach. <laughs> All right. So. Hello, Miss. So, Miss, let's have. Uh, I have a question for you, which is not related to your project, but so we can hear as uh, as we can hear you tonight. Okay. So, can you tell me, Miss, are you using English nowadays? Oh yes, coach. Uh, for example, nowadays I use the the English language, uh, practicing maybe with my sister in the house. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe in the future I would like to mm, maybe win a scholarship in another country. Um, because generally, uh, when you look for uh, information no, and you regarding the scholarship, they always ask you about the speak English in maybe not a very incredible level, <laughs> level but maybe an intermediate level coach. And I think it's very important to further improve this language coach. Okay, great, great. Thank you, Miss Jocelyn. Yes, of course, we all the English that we have learned is going to help us, right? So all the, for example, you are studying, you are still at the, at the university, and it's also helping you, right? Because we have some books in English, and it's better to read the books in English because we have the information better. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the next one. We have here another project, which was uh, my experience through different cultures, which, uh, which is from Miss Fumi, uh, which happens to be in, uh, in Spain, okay? Maybe she's not here right now. She was at the beginning, okay, she's here. Okay, great. So I say this because uh, we have different time zones, right? Maybe she went to sleep or maybe it's I don't know what time over there, but Miss Fumi, can you hear us, Miss? Yes. yes, coach, I'm still here. Okay, Miss, can you tell us why did you decide to study English? Uh, well, first of all, I want to take the TOEFL, that is my goal, but I always uh, like the language and uh, now, here I feel the importance of knowing English and the beauty of being able to speak it. Also, I have always liked this language, but more than anything, uh, it was like watching movies in English or listening to music in English that is also important. Uh, however, speaking it and being able to interact with other people in English was a very nice experience to me, and it showed me that I like the language even more. So I want uh, to keep practicing it and improving so I can speak more fluently. <laughs> that is why uh, I decided to study English. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Fumi. Yes, of course, we have to learn a new language because it give us, gives us many opportunities, right? For example, now uh, that she's in Spain, okay, she's getting to get, she's practicing her English because she's close to countries that speak English. Okay, nice. Let's go to number six. Who is number six? We have Miss Camila Quispe, which happens to be from Cochabamba. She's, uh, she did her project about animal abuse and she's really worried about animals on the street and that's why she did her project. So let's, let's get her uh, to speak, Miss Camila, are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, no, maybe. Good evening. 
Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miss. Okay, we have a question for you. And Miss Camila, can you tell us, did you know how to edit videos before you did your project? Mm, yes, because uh, I think my project is something important. I, I know about the animal abuse. I get a lot of information about it. It's so important because it's, um, it's a problem in the world we are living in that moment that uh, in my case, I have to see a lot of situations with uh, different animals. My family and me save uh, different animals with that. Uh, with that is very, very sad. I see uh, different animals in different situations, in different rigs, with different injuries. I cried, but I, I cried by, uh, for that animals. I remember a lot, but it's not only the domestic animals. It's important we have a different animals. Uh, uh, we can the wild animals; they are in, in in danger of extinction, and we have to protect uh, to protect them. It could be for that. Okay, okay, yes, yes, Miss. Thank you for your words. Many many people are feeling the same as you because they are really worried about uh, the animals, right? As you said, not only the animals that live in our houses, also the animals that live in the jungle. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Thank you, Miss Camila. The next project that we have here is from the Mariscandia. Well, Miss, you got number six, developing good habits, not only to be the best person, but also to encourage, uh, also encouraging others to achieve goals, right? So can you tell us a little bit why did you choose this project? Yes, uh, well, uh, it was, it is the, the reason about all my life. I can say that because um, I, I really appreciate the education that my parents gave me because when you uh, give uh, the little children the good, um, the good teachings, like I can say the Bible, I can say the good values in this way, um, they can learn and then later, like uh, years later, they can apply and they can also teach for others and can improve the society as well. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Demaris. Uh, those are some beautiful words, okay? Using the Bible, yes, okay, thank you. So let's go to the next project, which is number five. This is from Miss Erika Arismendi, which is about Angela's, uh, I can't say her name, legacy, but it's Angela's legacy, okay? So, Miss Erika, are you there? This is actually a project that uh, it's about the, uh, about women, right? Where she speaks uh, how this woman uh, got to power where only men were used to be. Okay, Miss Erika, are you there? Yes, coach, good evening, good evening everyone. It's a pleasure to be here, thank you. Good evening, Miss. Uh, okay, great, so Miss, let's, let's, uh, let me ask you a question, okay? Do you have English-speaking friends? Yeah, sure. I have to comment that I really like to use some apps and sometimes I comment it about it on, cl in cl on classes, so yes, I have. I have some of them. I well, I have a dream to see them physically, maybe in a future travel to to their countries. Okay, okay, great. So she communicates with them with through apps that we have nowadays, right? Zoom, different apps. Okay, great. Let's go to the next. Thank you, thank you, Miss Erika. Let's go to the next project which is number four. We're getting close to the top three projects, okay? And your project might be here. Let's see. We have Mr. Norman Artega, Evolution. So he is one of our guests here tonight. Can you, Mr. or Norman, can you tell us a little bit about your project, please? Yes, I, I, I think the evolution is uh, something so beautiful for me. I think I love science since I was a child and yes, I think that science is a concrete fact 
And evolution is not an opinion, it's not just a theory. It's a real fact. And the science can give us some information that we need now nowadays and that it's so necessary to, to everybody. So that's the reason why I choose this topic because I love science and I think that it can give us many answers to advance a society. Thank you. All right, really nice to hear you one more time here at the, uh, uh, at the stage, Mr. Norman. Thank you very much for your words. Let's go to the top three. Okay, so now these projects are going to get some the are going to get the focus, uh, what's it called, I forget the word, trophies, okay? They're going to get some trophies for the top three. Let's see who is the three. Guys, everybody who is uh, with us virtually, please be uh, listening very carefully for your name or it could be anybody from here, okay? So let's go to the top three. Okay, so here we have Miss Jocelyn Yanko, which is dance of the Saya, Tundinki, and Caporal. Okay, she's not here uh, right now, but she is, uh, she's in, uh, connected by Zoom. Okay, and let's see, Miss, Miss Jocelyn, are you there? Let's see, we're going to have some questions for you, okay? Yes, I am here. <laughs> okay, so now we have Miss Jaira. She's going to ask you some questions, okay? So please listen carefully. Miss Jaira, we're with you. Thank you, mister. Hello, Miss. I'm really proud of you. I just want to say good evening, too. And the first question is, why did you choose this topic? Okay, Miss. Uh, currently, I am a my dancer in the La Paz City. Um, I think that Bolivia has a lot of culture and history, and I think that, uh, that with my project, I show a little of the what traditional dances that we have uh, around of the of our country. And especially, I am from La Paz City, and this is the principal reason that I chose these three dances that. Uh, I think it's my favorite land, and especially uh, the Tundiki. The Saya de Tundiki and Caporal, uh, these three dances has uh, a, a beautiful and a wonderful uh, context story. Yes. And this is the principal reason that I, I chose this topic. Thank you, Miss. Congratulations for this. And um, we are with you, Mr. Rubin. Thank you very much for the questions, Miss. So, Miss Jocelyn, so this this is uh, your prize, okay? So, me we have do we have the okay? So, Miss, we're going to we're going to to take it all the way to La Paz, okay? You have a pr uh, prize. This is your trophy, okay, for you. So, let's go to the number. Number two, okay. Here we have Mr. Roger Palacios, which is mountain biking. Mr. Norman, please have some questions. Do you have some questions for him? Well, Mr. Uh, sorry, Mr. Do Roger, congratulations for your prize that you win tonight. And well, I would like to ask you. Um, why did you choose this topic? Because it's so interesting. Hello, coach. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I can't believe it, that I can I I win that second prize. <laughs> so um, I choose that that uh, that topic because I think cyclism. Uh, was a part of me since I was very young. Uh, I started to practice BMX when I was six years old. And then uh, I think it's a good sport. I enjoy it very much. Uh, many people can practice it. Uh, 
it helps to decrease stress it's good for improve your health so that's why i chose that topic thank you for your words mr roger and again congratulations we go thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, we have the support of the family. Great, all the family with him. He's uh, he's celebrating with his family. Nice. It's really great to have the family with us, right? Okay. Now let's go to the first place, which happens to be. Are you guys ready? First prize. Yes. All right. Let's see. Here we have first prize goes for Miss Jasmine Lopez. Who did her project about makeup? Miss Jocelyn, are you here? Are you online with us? Miss... I'm online. I'm Jocelyn Lopez. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Goat. We are really happy to have you here, Miss. Congratulations. Um, the first question that I would like to say to you is, why did you choose this topic? Hey, good evening, coach. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm so happy <laughs> that my project is the top one. Uh, I think that I chose this topic because um, I consider myself that I am a makeup lover. I think the makeup uh, helps a lot in terms of self-confidence. Uh, I love to wear makeup because I feel it enhances my beauty. And I know that everyone is beautiful with or without makeup, but, but I think I look different when I wear it. And I love that. Thank you. Congratulations, Bro. Miss. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor, para la Miss. We are with you, mister. All right, so I want to congratulate all the users. All their projects were awesome, okay, guys? But we had to take into account some details about the production, about all the things, okay? So that's why we got all these projects here with the top 16, okay? So I want to congratulate all of you guys. And now we are with Mr. Norman. Take it away, mister. Bueno, señores, como han podido observar, todos los usuarios de Focus deben poner a prueba todo lo que han aprendido con el sistema y con qué maravillosos proyectos hemos podido observar esta noche. Así que brindémosle un muy fuerte aplauso a todos nuestros usuarios que están presentes hoy y que nos han acompañado vía virtual con tan maravillosos proyectos. ¿No es así, Miss Jaira? Claro que sí, Mr. Numa. Estamos orgullosos de cada uno de ustedes y cada uno de los usuarios que están aquí presentes, ya sean virtuales y aquí presentes en la sala. Decirles que estamos orgullosos de cada uno de ustedes y muchas gracias por estar aquí. Bueno, queremos invitar en esta ocasión nuevamente a mi Soledad que nos va a brindar unas palabras. Por favor, mi Soledad. Gracias, Norma. Bueno, señores, creo que ya llegó el final de la noche. Primeramente, pues me siento muy orgullosa de tener usuarios de La Paz, como ustedes han visto, Santa Cruz, Cochabamba, Sucre, Potosí, Beni. Hemos podido arrasar con esto, el tema de la pandemia, y hemos podido conquistar y encontrar usuarios a nivel nacional. Me siento muy orgullosa, el primer premio y el segundo premio se han llevado lo que es una ciudad de Sucre, han tomado todo lo que es la parte virtual. Muy orgullosa, Jacqueline, Roger, de ese proyecto espectacular que nos han podido mostrar y de la misma forma el tercer lugar poder manejar en La Paz. ¿no? Eh, eso no quiere decir que en Santa Cruz han estado oh, bajos el tema de los proyectos, no han sido muy buenos, muy buenos el tema de los proyectos, pero se ha visto lo que es edición, preparación, entonces dedicarle un poco más de tiempo. A veces cuando nosotros podemos tener más cerca una filial, pues a veces un poquito flaqueamos, ¿no? Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Que un fuerte aplauso, por favor, para esos departamentos que nos, nos están acompañando desde allá. Y de la misma forma, pues, como les dije, ya llegó casi al final de la noche. Primeramente, poder agradecer a estos cuatro integrantes que son usuarios nuestros, 
Muchísimas gracias, señores, por animarse a hacer esta presentación, por animarse y encontrar nuevos talentos, como ustedes han visto, poder reflejarse en los ensayos, poder estar bajo cámaras y ante una transmisión para poder tener una certificación. Es un hecho realidad y ustedes son el espejo de lo que es Focus Your Mind. Un fuerte aplauso también para ustedes. Y de la misma manera también queremos conocer a todo el plantel administrativo, porque no solamente somos nosotros, sino también hay un plantel administrativo que nos está acompañando esta noche y que ha hecho posible que pues, esta certificación sea de forma virtual. Por favor, demos un aplauso si la cámara nos puede acompañar para que los podamos presentar. Vamos a presentar con, con la cámara principal al coach Milton, ¿no? Fuerte la pala, el aplauso para la ciudad de Cochabamba. Eso. De la misma forma podemos ver atrás cámaras, a recepción. Zenaida, muchas gracias. Podemos ver a, a la parte de que está manejando la parte virtual, Ezequiel Recaudo de Santa Cruz. La parte administrativa, contabilidad, Julio César. Por ahí nos acompaña de la misma forma lo que es la parte de sistemas, Elvis. Y de la misma forma, Javi, en la parte de recepción. Un fuerte aplauso. Muchísimas gracias. Esto ha sido todo el plantel administrativo de la parte de Focus Your Mind. Muchísimas gracias por creer en este sueño. Un gusto haberlos conocido y los dejo. Gracias. Muchas gracias, mi soledad. Y de igual forma, quiero agradecer acá a mis compañeros presentes, a todo el plantel administrativo, a todos mis compañeros que nos están acompañando esta noche y que están siendo parte igual de este grupo de graduados, a todos los familiares, padres, madres, hermanos y cualquier persona que nos está acompañando esta noche en esta maravillosa velada que sé que va a quedar en la memoria de, de todos nosotros. Así que les quiero por favor pedir que nos podamos levantar y realizar un brindis por todos nosotros por cumplir esta meta, este sueño y también un brindis por, por esta maravillosa institución como es Focus Your Mind que nos ha logrado capacitar y hacer personas mucho mejores y con un gran conocimiento. Así que, salud a todos. Eh, vamos a continuar también de la manera eh, del sorteo, ya que habíamos, eh, al principio no habíamos anunciado que tenemos eh, estos hermosos premios aquí, junto a Miss Paola, vamos a ver, a ver quiénes son los ganadores. Eso, gracias, gracias, esperemos que siguen conectados, a ver, redoble de tambores, se va los audífonos, se va los audífonos, se irá para La Paz, Cochabamba, Santa Cruz… Potosí, Sucre, Tarija, ¿para quién se va? Para Oruro. Está ahí, eh, la ganadora es Laura Rojas. ¿Está? ¿De dónde es Laura Rojas? Si no está, pierde el premio. Ahí está. Es su hija. Acá se quedó en Santa Cruz. Fuerte el aplauso. ¿Dónde está Laura Rojas? <ríe> ya que pase la mamá a recoger el premio. Pase la mamá. Fuerte el aplauso. Ahí está, se le hace la entrega de los audífonos. Felicidades, felicidades. La foto, por favor, la foto. Se le entrega. Ya viene, dice, ya corre por la foto. La foto. Listo, vamos por la mochila. Por la mochila rosada. La mochila rosada, tiene que ser una mujer, 
Vamos, vamos, la mochila, modele, modele. A ver qué tiene, ábrala. Y se va para Ruth Mercado. Acá Santa Cruz también. <ríe> Esa es la actitud. <ríe> se la ganó la mochila. Felicidades, ahí la foto, gracias, felicidades. Ahora sí, la mochila azul, la foto muy rápido se ha ido. No nos ha dejado ni el tiempo. <ríe> A ver, La Paz, los demás departamentos, a ver, vamos, vamos, se gana la mochila, Daniel Droguet, ¿virtual? A ver, muéstrenos a Daniel Droguet, si no está, pasa a otra persona el premio. Muéstrenlo, Daniel Droguet, en pantallas, ahí está, se ganó la mochila, felicidades. Ahora sí, vámonos por la beca, la beca, redoble de tambores. Traiga ahí, ahí está su material, lo vamos a mandar o capaz está aquí la persona. Vamos, vamos, redoble de tambores y la beca va para Guara Pérez. ¿Virtual? La Paz, la Paz, se ganó la beca Guara Pérez. Que se la muestre, si no, pierde el premio. A la una. Ahí está, felicidades. Ahí tienes la beca. Gracias por confiar en Focus. Felicidades a los ganadores. Gracias. Well, it has been very nice to be with to be here with all of you. Ha sido realmente un placer poder compartir con todos ustedes esta noche. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Espero que hayan podido disfrutar de esta maravillosa velada de la misma forma que acá nosotros hemos podido disfrutar. Muchas gracias y conmigo hasta una próxima ocasión. Thank you, Mr. Norman. It has been a really a beautiful, amazing night. Uh, I just want to say congratulations to all the graduates. Ha sido una hermosa noche y decirles que estamos orgullosos de cada uno de ustedes y hasta un próximo hasta una próxima graduación, ojalá nos contraten. <laughs> es así, Mr. Norman y Miss Jahaira, it was a pleasure to be here. I am from Cochabamba, so I'm not from here, Santa Cruz. I have to travel. And yes, gracias a todos eh, por estar aquí presentes y a todos los que igual se han conectado mediante la transmisión virtual que realmente esta noche fue eh, de sueños cumplidos, ¿no? Gracias. Exactamente, mis amaris. Ha sido una linda velada plagada de grandes talentos. Este 2021, de parte de Focus Your Mind Bolivia, queremos agradecer a todos los usuarios y a todos los que están conectados, tanto personalmente como en la transmisión en vivo, y desearles un feliz 2022 también. De parte de nosotros, de los presentadores, it's been a pleasure to share a stage with you, Ms. Yahaira, Mr. Norman, and Ms. Damaris. Que este sea un éxito de muchos. Damas y caballeros, hemos llegado al final de la noche. Por favor, que tengan todos ustedes muy buenas noches. Gracias. So everybody ready in your houses, we have to throw, you know what, we have prepared this case. Are you guys ready virtually? And here too, also, you, you know what to do, right? Okay, so. It's been a long you my friend and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again we've come a long way from where we began oh I'll tell you all about it when I see you again when I see you again damn who knew all the planes we flew good things we've been through 
be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last. Had to switch up, look at things different, see the bigger picture. Those were the days, hard work forever pays. Now I see you in a better place. We not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again You've come a long way Administration, I practice